Hi. Now in this video what I want to do is extend the work we've done on parabolas. What is a parabola? Well mathematically it's the locus of a point, let's say P, that is equidistant to a fixed straight line called the directrix and a fixed point S which is called the focus. So one of the many points that we could have for P would be a point say here in the middle of S and the directrix. Another point would be a point out here say. The distance to this point let's say P is exactly the same distance it is to the straight line here, the directrix. These two distances are exactly the same. And if we look at all the points where PS equals this distance P to the line, let's call it PD, then we get a curve looking something like this. Now I've put a few of the points along here, but in reality there's going to be an infinite number of points so we get a curve looking like this. And this curve is a parabola. Now if we introduce some axes into the problem where we take the origin here to be the midpoint between S and the directrix, then this point P here, let's give it some general coordinates. Let's say it has coordinates x, y. And the focus S, let's say that it's at a general point A0. So that would mean that this point here, the point where the directrix crosses the x-axis, must be at minus A. So the equation for the directrix must be x equals minus a or x plus a equals zero. And we're barking the focus there has coordinates then a zero. Now let's look at what this equation would be then if we had that ps equal pd. We start then by writing that ps equals pd. Now if we square both sides of this equation, you'll see why I'm doing this in a moment. It makes the mathematics a lot easier. So we have PS squared equals PD squared. And what is PS when we square it? Well, we can use Pythagoras' theorem by considering this triangle in here. We know that PS squared would equal this side squared plus this side squared. Well this length here is going to be y squared in general, so we've got y squared. And then this length here will be x minus a, so we can square that distance. And what does this equal? It equals pd squared. Well from the y-axis out to p, that length's going to be x. And the length back in the other direction from the y-axis is going to be a units. So the whole of this length is going to be x plus a. So we need to square that length. And if we were to expand this equation here we're going to get y squared and then we expand the bracket we get plus x squared minus 2ax plus a squared equals and if we square this bracket here we get x squared plus 2ax plus a squared. And then if we subtract x squared from both sides then that's going to go to zero and again if we subtract a squared from both sides that's going to be zero. But if we add 2ax to both sides we end up with y squared equals 4ax. 2ax plus another 2ax. And this equation here is the form of a parabola that looks like this. Now I've got a question here that you might like to try based on this. We've got to find the
coordinates then of the focus and the equation of the directrix for the parabola y squared equals 12x. You might like to just pause the video just for a moment and write down what you think the focus and the directrix is. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Let's see how you got on. Well, all we've got to do is compare this. Let's just write this down. Compare, comparing y squared equals 12x with y squared equals 4ax. What we've got is that the 4a must equal the 12. 4a equals 12. And clearly then that means that therefore a equals 3. So we can see then that the focus has coordinates a0, which will be in this example 3, 0. And the equation of the directrix, well that's got to be x equals minus a, so x equals minus 3, or equivalent like x plus 3 equals 0. Now, OK, we've got the equation of a parabola, y squared equals 4x, that looks like this, where it's symmetrical about the x-axis. But these aren't the only parabolas that you can get. You can get ones that are symmetrical about the y-axis, something like this where you've got your general point P, x, y, which is equidistant to the focus, which has coordinates 0, A, and the directrix, which is the line y equals minus A. Now as an exercise, why not pause the video and see if you can try and find the equation then of this parabola. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So how did you get on? Did you end up with x squared equals 4ay? Because that's the answer. It's basically the same as this one, only just in reverse. As you can see, I've replaced the y with an x and the x here with a y. I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so what we can do is take the diagram and we can say that PS has got to equal PD. So PS must equal PD. And if we square both sides, we're going to have that the length PS squared must equal the length PD all squared. So to get the length PS all squared, we've just got to consider this triangle in here. And we see that PS squared is going to equal this distance squared, which is going to be x. So that would be x squared plus this distance, which is going to be y, which takes us up to there, minus this distance, which is a. y minus a, all squared. And that equals PD, all squared. PD then is going to be the distance from the x-axis up to p, which is y, added to the distance below the x-axis, which is going to be a units below. So it's going to be y plus a. So we got y plus a all squared. And if we expand the brackets, we've got y squared minus 2ay plus a squared equals, and span this one, we get y squared plus 2ay plus a squared. And then if we subtract a squared from both sides, that's going to disappear. And if we subtract y squareds from both sides, that's going to disappear. Add 2ay to both sides though, and you end up with x squared equaling 4ay. So there's your equation then for a parabola where you have the directrix is y equals minus a, and your focus is at 0a. So it becomes a parabola that is symmetrical about the y-axis. 
Okay, well, in summary, let's just go back then and have a look at what we did earlier. Okay, well, I hope that's given you an idea then of the basics behind the equation of a parabola, the two types that you can get. The one which is symmetrical then about the x-axis and the one that is symmetrical about the y-axis. And the definitions of directrix and focus. Okay, well that brings us to the end of this video and there'll be others that follow that will look at more properties of the parabola, how we find equations of tangents, normals, and we'll also be looking at the parametric form of the equation of a parabola.